Educating students about the many animals that it houses has been a huge component of Adastra Gardens that recently reopened following a months long closure due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Animal manager Andrew Haley says the facility used to host large groups of field trips and also hosted outreaches where they would go to schools and have children interact with some of the facility's animals. What we've done um, during the lockdown, we've been coming up with a lot of virtual educational content. So we're basically working on different topics and each topic we're going to have a nice video shot where it's all things Adastra. We use the animals here and we cover just basic topics depending on what the classrooms may need. So for example, classification or learning about the national symbols of the Bahamas. Um, so we want to get those out. Um, teachers will be able to subscribe and get access to these videos. So instead of them coming to us, we're coming to them virtually. So it's, 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 it's going to be a cool thing, you know, it's going to come complete with, you know, craft or different activities to do along as well. So it's going to be a good learning experience. And we're just trying to just get creative, just like any other business that's been affected. Haley says the video should be completed by January and school teachers who want access can simply reach out to officials at the Adastra Gardens. He says the Caribbean flamingos and snakes are popular draws for children particularly the flamingos, because there are not many places where people can get close to them. Them being our very skittish animals and the environment that they live in so far away from humans is virtually impossible. So that's definitely one of the big draws. Another one is the bohemian boa. You know, a lot of people, they're afraid of snakes, but they don't mind seeing them from a safe distance. They don't mind learning about them. Um, so yeah, definitely the snakes, I would say the Caribbean flamingos, um, and just all of the various birds, the pirates, the beautiful colors. Uh, the kids love to hear them talk. You know, we have a lot of uh, macaws. Um, you know, they heard their name just now. Um, we have African gay pirates. I would literally have a conversation with you sometimes. Of course, we have the Bahama pirate, um, which is a species endemic to the Bahamas. Uh, you can't find it in many places. There's only really two places in the Bahamas now where you can find them. It's Abaco, sorry, three places. Ab